students today we will start a new playlist which is recreation and its generating function and in this we will discuss the formation of recreation and its solution and also the closed form expression of recreation by using generating functions i am vipasha sharma from numbers with vipasha so without wasting our time let us start our topic recurrence relation and its definition is let s be a sequence then recurrence relation on s is a formula that relates all but a finite number of terms to the previous term it means recurrence relation mera ek kya hai generally ek formula hai ek sequence jo hai recurrence relation ko banata hai i mean to say ek sequence jo ek relation banayega use kya kaha jata hai recurrence relation for example s of k minus s of k minus 1 plus s of k minus 2 is equals to 0 this is an example of recurrence relation now the definition of order order is difference between highest and lowest subscript for example you have to find out the order of recurrence relation and the relation is s of k Minus four s of k minus one plus two s of k minus two is equals to zero. You have to find what you have to find here order. And what is the definition of order? Order is difference between highest and lowest subscript. See here highest subscript is s of k and lowest is k minus two. Order will be highest subscript here is. k and lowest subscript, subscript here is k minus 2 and we will get order is equals to 2 this is very simple order is difference between highest and lowest lowest subscript uh, for example this is an recurrence this is a recurrence relation and you have to find out the order order is k minus k minus 2 is equals to 2 k here is highest and lowest here is k minus 2 next definition is next definition here is degree degree is highest power of s of k occurring in recurrence relation let us discuss this with an example s k minus 4 s square k minus 1 plus 6 x cube k minus 2 is equals to 0 degree is what highest power of s of k and here highest power of s of k is 3 therefore degree of this recurrence relation is equals to 3 right what is order here order is difference between highest and lowest subscript again order is equals to 2 now homogeneous linear recurrence relation of order n homogeneous recurrence relation of order n is given by s of k plus c1 s of k minus 1 plus c2 s of k minus 2 plus up to so on s cn s of k minus n is equals to 0 where c1 c2 c3 c4 up to infinity cn is constant term right now next concept here is characteristic equation this characteristic equation is very 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 important concept of Uh, recurrence relation whether it is homogeneous equation or non homogeneous equation this equation is alpha raised to the power n plus c1 alpha raised to the power n minus 1 plus c2 alpha raised to the power n minus 2 plus c3 alpha raised to power n minus 3 plus up to so on cn is equals to 0 this whole equation is characteristic equation and this only left hand side of that equation is known as what characteristic polynomial now next concept here is algorithm for solving homogeneous recurrence relation of order n this is very important concept for solving homogeneous recurrence relation equations questions right first of all you have to write down the given question and here the linear recurrence relation is s of k plus c1 s of k minus 1 plus c2 s of k minus 2 up to so on cn s of k n k minus n is equals to 0 this will be a question right first of all you have to do what you have to find out the characteristic equation of that recurrence relation which is linear here right characteristic equation is alpha raised to the power n plus c1 alpha raised to the power n minus 1 plus c2 
alpha raised to the power n minus 2 plus up to so on cn is equal to 0. This is your characteristic equation. Sabse pehle hume kya hai? Ek homogeneous equation ki sabse pehle hume characteristic equation nikalni padegi, right? Jab hum characteristic equation nikalenge, uske baad hume ye dekhna hai roots. Roots kaise hai? Roots kya hai? Agar simple hai, distinct hai, equal roots hai, imaginary hai, imaginary repeated roots hai. So, iske alag alag types hongi, right? You have to find out what? Roots. Roots of equation which is characteristic equation here, right? First is, if roots are distinct, agar kya hai? Roots alag alag hongi, say m1, m2, up to so on, mn. Tab solution kaise niklega? S of k is equals to c1, m1 raised to the power k plus c2 m2 raised to the power k plus up to so on cn m n raised to the power k ki uske baad ho rhi hai jab kya hai roots joh hai humare alag lag hai means distinct hai right second type is if roots have two equal roots like say m1 is equals to m2 agar humare paas koi aise do roots ha jate hai joh same hai tab humara solution kaise niklega c1 plus c2 k m1 k isko hum ek me le lege plus C3 M3 K, K plus up to so on C and M n raised to the power K. Third concept is if roots are three equal roots. Abhi hum amne do concept do liye the ki do roots humare same hai. Ab hum kya le rahe hain ki roots kya hai humare? Tino same hai. Suppose M1 is equals to M2 is equals to M3. Suppose koi humara root nikal gaya 2, 2, 2. Teen baar aage 2. To hum apna solution kya se likhenge? S of K is equals to C1 plus C2 K plus c3 k square m1 k plus c4 m4 raised to the power k plus up to so on c n m n raised to the power k. Is mein humne tina root ko ikathe likh liya hai haan pe. m1 k, phi wo tina aage uske baad c4 m4 raised to the power k up to on so on. And next point here is if characteristic equation has imaginary roots. Agar imaginary roots aa jate hai, suppose alpha plus minus iota beta. Tab hum solution kaise nikalenge s of k is equals to c1 alpha plus iota beta raised to the power k plus c2 alpha minus iota beta raised to the power k. Ek bar hum plus wali term ko saath le lenge, ek bar negative wali term ko saath le lenge. Aur last point hai ki agar if roots are repeated imaginary roots, alpha plus minus iota b, alpha plus minus iota b, tab kaise niklega s of k is equals to c1 plus c2 k alpha plus iota beta raised to the power k plus c3 plus c4 k alpha minus iota beta raised to the power k. Ek baar hum plus wala part saath me lenge aur ek baar hum minus wala part saath me lenge aur jo repeat ho raha hai, right? So, ye wala algorithm jo hai, ye bohat 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 important hai. Har ek question isi wale algorithm se solve honge. Sab se pehle hum ek question diya hooga, recurrence relation ka koi question diya hooga. Sab se pehle we have to find out what characteristic equation of that recurrence relation. Secondly, you have to find out the root of that characteristic equation, right? Characteristic polynomial ke hume roots nikalne padenge. Roots ko dekhne ke baad, if roots are distinct, to solution s of k is equals to this form mein niklega, equal roots mein is form mein niklega, three equal roots honge to is form mein, so on. This is very, very, very important algorithm for solving homogeneous recurrence relation of order n. So, that was all about my topic. Please do subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for further updates.